Hi there, this is Ryer with Western Libraries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zotero's Word plugin. In Word, at the very top menu, click Add-ins, and there's a bunch of Zotero-related icons right here. This is the one to insert a citation. I recommend switching to the classic view because there's quite a few more options. So I have a folder that organizes all the sources for this paper. And this first one, let's say I want to insert this, and notice I can add a page number. Let's say this particular citation came from page 10, and I'll click OK. And it's inserted a citation. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to cite multiple sources in the same citation. Same as last time, we click here, switch to classic view, and in this case, click multiple sources, and let's imagine this one is Bass. So you click that, and then the green arrow. This one's from page four, and I'll add this one. Let's say this is from page seven. Then I click OK. And here's the citation. Now, if we want to switch the style, click the gear icon. And we'll see. We can switch it to, let's say, MLA is also popular here on campus. Click OK. And they've instantly been transformed. In Zotero, I can also create a bibliography very quickly. One click of a button, once I have my in-text citations, it inserts each of the citations. One, two, three, four. Notice they're already alphabetized and ready to go. The quality of your citations really depends on the quality of the information that's in your Zotero library. Notice that in this one example right here, this article is not given a date because in my Zotero library, this article does not have a date associated with it. I've done a little bit of research and I find out that it's actually been published on September 27, 2011. If I edit that information, adding that, then when I come back to Word, I should be able to hit the refresh button and notice that the date quickly changed to 2011. So that's the best way to update information. Go to your Zotero library, update the information, and then those changes will be automatically reflected in your bibliography. That's it for this video. Until next time.